Good morning, folks. We've got CME tracking, earthquake news, a mysterious gamma ray heartbeat in space, more super lightning and NASA's magnetic anomaly video, finally up nine days after teasing. We're beginning at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on the sun much calmer than the day before. The coronal hole is now firmly Earth-facing, set to deliver intensified streams to Earth. But yesterday, we saw that eruption on the south, and this one may be out ahead of the coronal hole stream. But again, it is going to be minor. The Enlil spiral from NOAA has updated, and while they do foresee a density jolt near the change of day from the 19th to the 20th UTC, not much is there in the way of speed. Again, when the bigger CMEs from filaments and M and X-class solar flares come along, that's when space weather gets really interesting. Top earthquake of the last day struck the Philippines at shallow depth, magnitude 6.6. .6. Reports coming in say one person has died, and there is considerable damage to roads and houses. We also had an astute observer nearby record light pillars with high-altitude genesis close to the earthquake zone in the hours before it happened. Those are earthquake lights. Folks, the pre-quake electric signals are now well flushed out in the peer-reviewed literature. Learn about them at quakewatch.net and forecasters. Please note the hurricane near Baja with four shocks to the north. Blood echoes this morning to the southeast. Up next, let's check out the gamma ray heartbeat in the sky, a flashing that follows a set cycle. And they say they don't know how the central object is coherently making the heartbeat over a hundred light years from the source. Well, in their observation-based animation, we actually get a clue. We know that with these accretion scenarios, the jet is expelled north and south of the nucleus, but what happens then describes the local environment. They are going to go ahead and blame the tilting, undulating disk for the wobbly nature of the jet, but that wobble, this jet twists into a helix when you get further away, just like the magnetic fields are expected to do north and south of the nucleus. Folks, we have been examining the era of Earth discharge. It has begun. There has never been as many sightings of upward lightning as there have been this summer, and it would taste a lie to deny my incredulity at the speed of the electric delta in the global circuit. Three more in the last two days, including one caught by Scott Manley, a phenomenally popular YouTuber who I hope is cool and understands fair use for education and commentary, I am only showing a few moments of his video because you can go check out the entire amazingness at his channel with the link provided in today's list, but all we really need to do for this educational piece is see the upward generation. Scott's right, this is rare, but becoming less rare by the day as Earth's magnetic field weakening allows more particles in to juice up a system that needs to discharge extra capacitance. And that brings us to NASA. It was nine days ago we shared that they put up an article with that video on the magnetic anomaly, but then took it down. It has popped up a few times since then, but just for a few minutes and then taken down again. But this morning, it is there. It's back, and likely for good, now that it's linked by an official article on their site. And indeed, if you haven't heard, the weakest spot amidst the globally weakening and shifting field is undergoing mitosis, splitting into two cells. The animation shows a forecast for continued magnetic weakening, and they say they expect increased trouble with GPS navigation and other satellite issues to be one of the first big signs of the change as it progresses. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about this topic with our playlists below the video, on our channel page, and at suspiciousobservers.org. You can also read about it in our book. But folks, in two days, we're actually going to be taking down the online store, an online store vacation. From the 21st to the 31st, otf.sales.com will be closed to let us catch up and breathe. But when we come back, the PDF version so many of you have been waiting for for Weatherman's Guide to the Sun will be available for one day only, September 1st. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.